Hello, in this video I'd like to show you how to change the canvas area for an image using paint.net. As you can see I've got paint.net already loaded here and what I'll do is load in a file to work on. So I'm going to pick this file here. As you can see down the bottom here it's 254 times 199 pixels and for the sake of this demonstration what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the canvas side to make it a square. So I'll go up to the image menu item up here and pick canvas size which you can also pick with Control shift r you can also see that it looks very similar to the image resizing dialog except that you have down the bottom here this this little array of arrows that we can use to offset uh, where we want to change the canvas side let's let's change the canvas size with the the middle button highlighted here and you will see what I mean. So let's say we want to make it a square, so I'll make it 254 times 254. It's also worth noting at this point that the maintain aspect ratio is switched off so we can change individual sizes. So what I'll do is I'll click OK. And as you can see, it's now a square. Because the default for the canvas resize is white and the background behind the image was already white, that's all we really need to do to this image and we can now save it and use it as a square image and you can see down the bottom it is now in fact 254 times 254. I'm going to use the undo control Z command to go back to how it was. Okay so we're going to pick the the canvas resize option again so back up to the menu pick canvas size this time I'm going to click this lower button here on the lower left side and I'm going to actually make the canvas quite a bit bigger to, to, to exaggerate what I'm doing here so you can easily see what's happening. So I'll make it 400 by 400 and I'll click OK. So now you can see that the image is offset to the left and at the bottom. I'll do the Control Z again and go back to how we were and just show you one more example of that. So canvas size and I'll change it 400 times 400 again, but this time I'll offset it there and click OK. And there you go. Now it's at the top and in the middle. One more thing I'll do is um, go Control Z and go back up to image and canvas size. You can also change the size of the canvas by percentage, which you could do uh, when you change the image and you can click the maintain aspect ratio so that if you make one thing bigger it makes the other bigger so let's change that to 400 we'll put it back in the middle for the sake of this demonstration and there you go you've increased it by the aspect ratio but you've maintained the proportions by clicking that button Now I'd like to show you how to select the new canvas areas that you create so that you can either fill them in or rub them out. So I'll pick a picture this time that's that's got no background. This one here. And apart from the, the envelopes there and the rocket, there, there's no background to this. So first of all, let's let's resize the canvas area. And what I'll do is I'll um, I'll make it wider, so you can see two new canvas areas there. Now there's two very easy ways of selecting these canvas areas, and what we actually want to do is, is rub them out so that there there's transparency, as you can see by which is denoted by the black the grey and white squares here. So you could either use the select tool here. And then perhaps if I make the picture a little bigger, we can select the area of the new canvas like that. And if we wanted to, if we hold down the control key at the same time, we can also select the area on the other side. Like that. Now there's actually, I'll I'll just come out of that. There's actually an easier way of selecting these areas so that you get the whole of area, the area and you don't accidentally overlap 
into say one of these envelopes here and cut the, the edge of the envelope off. If you pick the magic wand tool here it will wherever you place it and click it will pick the all the area that's a, that's next to it that's similar so in this case because I'm clicking the white area it will select all the white area so I'll do that and I'll hold down the control key and I'll click that now what we want to do is rub out these white areas so that we maintain the transparency here and to do that I'm going to use this rubber tool here and um, if I click and drag it you'll see that it's actually rubbing out quite a small area at a time so what we'll actually do here is we'll go up to the brush width section here and I'll make it quite big because it, it's only going to rub out in the areas that we've selected so as you see I come down here and it's not rubbing out any of those envelopes I'll do the same here then all I have to do is click the select tool and click outside the area and you can see that those white areas are gone. Now I'd like to show you how to fill a new canvas area with a different colour or background. I'll pick a, a picture with a black background here. I'll increase the canvas size so that there is an area below it. So I'll pick 450 and you can see that I've I've moved the offset to the top middle. So that will create the new area and beneath it. So all I need to do is pick, I'll pick my colour in this case off of the palette. If you like you could pick black as the primary and then you you click the bucket tool and if you just go over that area and click again it will fill it with black. Now if I control Z to go back I could also pick another colour, so let's say I picked that colour there and then go over, I've still got the bucket tool selected and click it will fill it with um, that purpley colour there. So I'm going to go back to black, control Z, and there you go, back to black. Another thing we can do is use an existing area of an image to fill the new canvas area. So I'll um, control Z to go back to the new canvas area there and what I can then do is click the recolor tool here which gives me a brush, well a brush circle uh, I can then go over to an area, hold down the control key and left click that will allow me to fill it up like that or if I control Z get rid of that I can use the bucket fill tool to fill hold the whole area now to demonstrate this more clearly I'll pick a different color from the image so I'll control Z again go back to the recolor tool and I'll pick one of these colors here so let's make the brush smaller so we can target an area oh, I think I'll make the, um, the image a little bit bigger so let's say we want to pick that that blue area there make sure we've got the recolor tool selected control left click there and you can see that's loaded that color there into the primary color box over here so if I now select the bucket tool I can fill it with blue if I pick another color so let's go to the recolor tool again I could pick say uh, that quite deep pink there you can see it's filled the primary area again and select the bucket tool and there we go Another thing I could do is actually copy an area and to demonstrate this I'm going to use a different picture so I'm going to close this picture here I'm not going to bother saving it uh, I'm going to pick another picture so I'll use this picture here and I'll extend the, the canvas again so let's make that 500 and again I I've offset it so that it'll create the new canvas underneath. Now I could pick a colour and just fill it with a colour but I could also select an area and I could put select uh, in this case I could select the entire width I think to cover that bottom. Now this is not a perfect way of filling the new canvas but it is a way that you can use and you can select using any selection method you like as shown in previous videos. Um, I'm just going to select a wide enough band of colour so I'll 
just pick all of that there and I'll go control C so I've gone control C so it's now in the buffer and I click the side so you can't see anything there I'll go control V which will copy it in I can then move that down and there we go if I click the outside of the area so I'm going to click the select tool click the outside of the area there you can see now it's not a perfect match but it is another way that you can fill a canvas area um, and there may be situ certain situations where that's useful even, even having said that it probably looks a little bit better like that than it would look if it was a solid color if I wanted to extend this picture another way of doing it might be to just put a white border around it to make it bigger but it is another alternative